Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see <coughs> how to specify the range between the character sets. In the previous video, we have seen that if you want to represent a numbers, that is nothing but 1, 2, 4. So you will be writing something like character set 1, 2, 3, and 4. So now this will represent any any number that is nothing but 1, 4. As a different matches, it will try to find it. But now, here, what we are trying to do, we are trying to tell the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. So, if you are having an, uh, if you want to specify a character set between 1, 2, 9, so how you will write 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. <clears throat> so, we will be writing like this. So, different types of characters like this character set. Instead of using like this, we can represent this one using something like 1, 2, 4. Okay, so here we are mentioning the hyphen bit, uh, to specify the range between the characters of from 1 to 4. Now you, know, you need to understand here that we have mentioned hyphen in between the characters that is nothing but 1 and 4 we have mentioned in hyphen. So here hyphen is called as nothing but meta character. So here hyphen is nothing but a meta character. Here hyphen is called as an meta character. So this is called as an hyphen is called as an meta character. Here I want I will represent it as hyphen is a meta character. In our previous video we have learned that so even whatever may be the meta character if you mention that one between the square brackets so so that will not behave it as in so that will not function as a meta character inside a character set. We have already learned about this one. Any any meta character if we represent inside a character set. So it will not function as a meta character. For that one, we have seen a, we have seen about the wildcard meta character that is nothing but a period operator. So we have seen about that one. But we have an exception. So there is only one exception that is nothing but only the hyphen. Hyphen acts as a <coughs> range in a character set. So other than this hyphen, so everything will take it as a literal character only. So hyphen is the only character which will act as a meta character in between the square bracket. Now, if you want to mention hyphen, okay, if you want to use the hyphen in the character set, so how can you do it? So then we need to use the forward slash to escape the meta character. So for escaping this meta character, we have already seen about this one as a forward slash to escape the meta character and to work as a literal character. So we can use this forward slash. So this is the <coughs> about this escaping of this meta character that is nothing but a hyphen. For example, let's say that. So if the hyphen is in the middle of is, is in the starting position if the if the hyphen is in the starting position in the square brackets that is nothing but in the character set so there is no need to mention this forward slash if it is in the position in the middle mentioning the range only so you can mention it like is escaping this one using a forward slash or otherwise there is no need to represent this one with a <coughs> forward slash so in order to avoid the confusion and all those things so it, it will there will be a no problem if you mention the forward slash at the starting position or at the ending position so there is no need there is, there is no problem so now let's try to implement this code in our regex pal so here we are having a regex pal so let's try to see it so i will write a text here there have been four to five times I have tried so something I am writing a text okay so this is the text I am trying to find so now what I what I will try to mention is here I will try to write here something like I want to find numbers so between the 1 to 5 okay so when you try to write the numbers 1 to 5 so that means the range of characters you are trying to mention the range of characters to find the digits that are between the 1 to 5 so that is nothing but 1 2 3 4 and 5 so here we are having a range of characters that is nothing but 10, 4 and 5 so because of this reason so we are able to find it now if you use a forward slash here so if you try to use a forward slash here automatically <clears throat> automatically so it will try to match the digit with 1 hyphen and 5 so because of that reason so 4 is not selected why because so it, it is it will try to match a character set which is having either 1 or hyphen or 5 so because of that reason so here hyphen has been matched and also 5 has been matched so but 1 didn't match it 
and also what i can say is so if you want to mention it so you can also mention something like like this and also you can also mention <coughs> something like a to z so you can mention the character so combination of the character set so that it should match the capital a to capital j so here we are having capital t and capital i so these all the matches these all the matches has been done so t and 4 and number 5 and i these all the things has been matched if you want to mention you can also mention small a to small z so this one also you can match it so now it will match the entire characters only the special uh, special characters that is nothing but special characters like punctuation so comma dot period these all the things are not matched so like this we can also mention the combination for example if you try to write here a to z and if you try to write here small a to small z so if you try to write here there is only one match if you are able to see there is only one match first it will try to check whether any capital letter that is matching it will try to see followed by any small letter so followed by any small letter it will try to match it so this is how we can do this one now let's try to match the punctuation marks so let's say that any punctuation marks like hyphen comma and also the dot operator let's try to see it. So if you want to select those things means you can use hyphen comma and also dot so here the hyphen if you try to see it is not in the position to mention the range it is not in a position to mention the range so now it is at the starting position so there is no need to use the forward slash if you try to use it also not a problem so now here the hyphen has been matched the comma is been matched and also the dot has been matched so that means it will try to select the characters which are having either hyphen comma or a dot so like the character set so let's try to say that <clears throat> so in our coding programming so we will get an exception something like exception 0 x a f so like this we used to get an exception something like exception code we used to get it so let's try to see let's try to match this exception so here if you try to see I will try to write something like so every exception starts with a 0 and x and now here it is an hexadecimal code so what I can do here everything it matches with 0 to 9 and also capital A to capital F so one character has been matched and now I need to match this F also so this F also what it will try to do is it we need to do the hexadecimal matching so for, for doing this hexadecimal matching what I can do here again I can write it something like 0 to 9 and a to f see now we have matched this one so this is how we will be writing now i want to tell one exception be one exception in this one not exception uh, so one 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 scenario in this character set so let's say that we are having a how do we capture the numbers 13 to 20 okay so here we are having a range in a such a way that 13 to 20 so now if you try to write so what you can say so you will try to write the matches that is between 10 to 20 if we try to see here so the match has not been made so here the match has been for the one and also for the separate matches if you try to see here two and zero so that means three has not been selected so what is the problem here it is coming is so here the hyphen the range will be between 0 to 2 only so it is something like it is checking the character for the 1 okay followed by 0 to 2 so that means 0 1 and 2 and also again 0 so the duplication of this so that means anything it will match something like 0 1 and 2 only so that is the reason 1 is match 2 is match 3 is match so it will the range of the character set the range of characters it will not check the 10 to 20 or something like the double digit it will not check so we need to it will be checking something like so it will be checking something like what i can say so 0 to 9 these characters only if you want to match this one so you need to tell something like 1 to 9 followed by so 0 to 9 something like this you need to do so then it will match it so 0 to 9 0 to 9 like this you need to do so like this it will match so this is all about this range of character set in the regular expression Hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.